This video is one in a series of videos that cover database topics in three themes. We look at Oracle Apex, Application Express for web applications, relational database concepts for designing and building databases, and SQL, the programming language for working with a relational database. If you want to work with the video series, you can go to this URL to get the scripts and handouts. In this Apex video, we're going to look at a few things we can do to change the layout of page items in a form. So we'll be working with the animals form that we've created several videos back. I also think I have to make a correction to setting the target property for a create button in the animals list report. We'll take a look at that. I tried to make changes to that property I think at the end of Apex 8 and I got a little too rushed and I need to verify that this is working. So I'm going to get logged in to Apex. My workspace is Animal Shelter. I'll go in as Mina Mendez, one of my developers, and go into the application and we'll run that. In the next video or two, I will modify the navigation pane and we'll also make a copy of this application. So we'll have kind of a development version. When we get things the way we like them, we can copy them over to a production version of our application. But that's coming up. List animals. If we look at this, and we had to change the properties of this report so it would open a second version, a newer version of the animal info form. When we click edit, we go from page two, which we see here, to page four. Originally, it had opened page three. Now if I come back here, when I click create, it appears to be working, but I need to check something here. Edit this page. And on Create, on the left-hand side, the Create button, when it opens page 4, which, which is correct, it needs to clear the cache for page 4. And I just didn't make that change in the previous video. Okay, so let's run this and go into the form. Now, every page item spans the entire page width. One of the advantages of the more recent versions of Apex, by the way, is what's known as a responsive environment, which will detect what you're viewing this application through and make adjustments in the display, whether you're looking at it on a PC, a tablet, or a phone. But we don't need these to go all the way across the page. So let's edit. In this layout section here, in the middle section, you'll start to see some of our changes. I'm going to click on Animal ID, and we have Display Only. The sequence is 10. If we wanted it to appear at the end, we would put this at a much higher number. And right below that, we have Start New Row. Yes, I do want it to start a new row. We can also modify the width of the column by saying how wide, or column span, I should say, column span by saying how many portions of a 12 section grid do we want this to take. Rather than set that, I'm going to come to category though. I'm going to come to category, scroll down, and I'm going to say start new row, no. Notice the change here in the layout. So now I have these two side by side. Primary color, at, I click on that. Start new row, yes. Mix, no. I'm going to pause the video as I go through on, on every other page item. I'm going to have it not start a new row. So I'm not quite finished, but what I wanted to do is push these two columns, these two page items, date created and date modified. I want to move them to the bottom of the form. So if I look at the sequence here, 
look at the sequence number for date created scrolling down I can just make a sequence much higher than what I think these following page items are so I'm going to type in 200 for example and on date modified I'm going to scroll down and make that 210 so notice now I have age followed by dominant breed followed by pick pick and then these two audit columns they keep track of when data has been created or modified so now I'll continue doing my my edits to the add new row no I'll pause the video so now I have this layout look and I've moved the sequence in which we see some of the page items so let me save this and run this and now we have this so if I were to come out to list animals and do create and I wanted to start typing I could do canine and when I hit the tab key it's going to keep bouncing back and forth from column one to column two from the first column to the second column this is a pretty simple modification of the layout but it's much more user friendly the one other thing as I look down here we have the list of values that we created and for dominant breed ID what we're getting is not the actual breed we're seeing the very first selection in the list of values what I like about the ones that we created in a previous video is things like status it always starts out with a null no data selected we need to change that here so I'm going to change the DOM breed ID list of values display I'll pick that over here on the left hand side and then I will scroll down here's my list of values display null value yes do that and what do we want I'm going to put two dashes I'll save that and I'll run that and now when I look at this we see a dash instead of the name the problem with having the first value in the list appear is it gives the impression that that data has already been assigned and that may not be the case